The hopper is made from at least 50% recycled material, uh, the torsion rods uh, ensure rigidity for uh, a dynamic running feeling. I'm Stelvio, welcome back in Koryamune with the, the new Adizero RC4 from Adidas, a versatile running shoe with the recycled content. Make sure to subscribe, smash the like button and activate the notification bell, you guys are making me happy. Let's split the video in three different chapters, specs, outsole, midsole and upper and finally the conclusions. As you can see in terms of specs the RC4 is uh, closer to the Audio 6 uh, um, more than to the uh, RC3 because the difference of uh, uh, weight and um, the stockade uh, with the, the RC3. You can see also uh, from the shoe directly so you see it's uh, much higher than the RC3. lower to the ground so again this shoe we can notice the trend to higher the stack and lower the drop uh, uh, there are seven millimeters of difference uh, uh, from the rc3 in comparison to the uh, uh, rc4 in the forefoot uh, uh, less in, in the heel uh, but uh, i can guarantee you that uh, you will feel it in terms of drop uh, the difference is a bit less 1.5 millimeters in nutshell the rc4 is uh, the Adio 6 without uh, the continental rubber and uh, the light strike perform in the forefoot uh, and a little bit cheaper, actually 20 euro less than the Adio 6. As you can see here, they look uh, pretty, pretty similar. Huh? Look also the, the sole. So yeah, let's start exactly from the half sole. Uh, it, it looks completely different from the RC3 because the RC3 uh, had a different kind of uh, half sole, also different uh, torsion system. As you can see, this is the RC4. But pretty similar to the Adio 6. Look, it's really uh, the same design. Looks like the same design. Huh? But I'm not sure, I have the feeling that since the the rubber is much uh, thinner than in the Adio 6 uh, that uh, it will last uh, uh, less than in the Adio 6. Yeah? But on the other end is less stiff than in the Adio 6. It was really uh, thick and uh, at the beginning was uh, uh, really stiff. I see this as a pop. Another good thing that uh, I noticed is uh, that it doesn't collect any stones. As you can see here, instead in the Adio 6 there are still uh, some stones stuck here in the in the outsole, no? as you can see. In terms of grips, uh, uh, it was okay, I would say, but uh, I believe the RC3 and the uh, Adio 6 uh, are much better. It has a torsion system, as you can see here. It is smaller uh, than the torsion system in the Adio 6. You see? It is a little bit smaller, if you, if you can see. Uh, and also from the RC4. Huh? Look, this is narrow. But I would say overall it works and uh, I like it. Luckily Adidas didn't remove it uh, like in the SL20. The midsole is made of the light strike foam uh, entirely. Uh, this is uh, the difference with the Adio 6 that uh, use also the uh, light strike pro foam that is softer and uh, in, in the forefoot area. This wider than uh, the Adio 6, uh, um, especially in the heel area, but also in the mid uh, of the foot, uh, and um, it is uh, in a similar dimension as in the HC3, uh, so more stable, uh, especially for those who land uh, in the heel. And you can see, huh? for instance, here it is more narrow than in the RC4, huh? and the RC3 has similar dimension as the HC4. 
I mean, it is stiffer, uh, we know, uh, last strike uh, is stiffer, especially at the beginning, but after uh, 30 or 15 kilometers, it gets softer, especially if the stack A is uh, higher. Um, and I, I expect this because uh, it got already softer in the RC3, so I'm convinced that this will happen in the RC4 uh, quite uh, easily. And we, we already can see the signs here that uh, it's already getting a little bit uh, softer. Of course, I felt the difference with the Audio 6. Uh, I run almost uh, 500 kilometers with the Audio 6, so it's now softer, of course. Um, but I'm curious to check after 100 kilometers uh, with the RC4 uh, if uh, I can really feel uh, um, the difference uh, between the Light Strike Pro and the uh, Light Strike, uh, and uh, uh, that it is so evident in terms of comfort. Uh, uh, I'll give you an update in a second video. The app is still 50% uh, made of recyclable uh, material, so I like it a lot. But it is not breathable like in the uh, Audio 6, uh, that was really breathable. And, uh, but also in the RC3 it was breathable as well. The mesh used is different and uh, it is not breathable, guys. It is not breathable and especially for those who run uh, uh, in the south of Europe uh, during the uh, summer season could be not ideal. On the other hand, it fits uh, uh, perfectly, so I took the same size as uh, the, all the other Adidas shoes. Uh, and um, yeah, and uh, in terms of overlay materials, it's uh, much better than uh, uh, the Audio 6. You can see here the overlay materials used, and the overlay material used in the Audio 6, uh, kind of old style. I prefer the, the new style in the RC4, to be honest, it's much uh, more lean. I like the aesthetic more. Huh? The things that I like a lot in the Audio 6 is uh, the second uh, line of links, they, as you can see here. So um, even for those runners who have uh, thinner feet, uh, it's possible to change the, uh, the latest configuration and uh, have a um, better um, lockdown. The RC4, unfortunately, there is not this possibility as it was in the RC3, uh, no second line of links. That's a pity, but still, even though uh, I would say it was not that bad, and I have to say also that the lockdown was not that good as in the Audio 6 or in the RC3, maybe due to the uh, different uh, um, shape of the heel counter. But in any case, it was not that bad. So overall, the upper is okay, the colorways are also uh, nice, but I don't like the laces and uh, the mesh used because not that readable and the lockdown is not that good as in the RC3 and the Audio 6. So in conclusion, uh, I would say overall, I felt like uh, to run in the Audio 6 uh, a bit lighter, more stable uh, in comparison to the RC3 uh, as a similar response, uh, but better in terms of uh, vertical oscillation and um, as it was confirmed by the running dynamics collected here. And uh, it's a little bit more comfortable than the RC3 and uh, uh, due to the stockade probably and uh, a bit less comfortable than the Audio 6 uh, due probably to the Light Strike uh, uh, Pro uh, um, form uh, used in the forefoot uh, uh, but still more stable than the Audio 6. Yeah? I'm curious to compare the RC4 uh, with the uh, Audio 6. Uh, uh, I will uh, upload a, a new separate video uh, in this regard maybe after having run uh, um, more kilometers with the RC4. I believe the RC4 could be my uh, next uh, uh, daily trainer because uh, this was the case with the Hadio 6, uh, um, especially if it gets softer as it was uh, for the Hadio 6. Uh, um, but I believe as well that the price should be a little bit lower, like for instance, uh, um, it was uh, for the RC3. Otherwise, guys, I have really no reason why should I buy the RC4 instead than uh, the Hadio 6 or Hadio 7 that has the Continental Rubber and also the Light Strike Pro form. Just a remark, I know that some marchers uh, are using the RC3, so guys, you could not like these changes, uh, but I will give it uh, a try at least. Yeah. So I hope guys this was interesting for you, that's basically the reason why I'm doing this video, so uh, just let me know, leaving a like, and if you are not yet subscribed, uh, it's really important for me, and it uh, doesn't cost anything to you, just uh, a click. So as always, as always guys, thanks a lot for your support and for watching, and uh, till the next time, keep running. Ciao.